This is part two in our series of lectures on infinite sets. In this lecture, we're going to consider a surprising example. We're going to show that the Cartesian product n cross n is a denumerable set. So here's the theorem. n cross n is denumerable. So before we go into the proof of this, I want you to think about why this is a surprising result. It's saying that n cross n has the same cardinality as n, uh, which is another way of saying that from the point of view of cardinality, n cross n is really no bigger than n is. They both have essentially the same number of elements. Let's now compare that um, to what would happen when you take the Cartesian product of two finite sets. When you take uh, the Cartesian product of n sub m with n sub n, Remember, we observed in section 5.1 that that has the same cardinality as n sub m times n. And that is a set which is far bigger than either one of these two uh, factors. Just to give you an example, n sub 5 denotes the set of natural numbers from 1 to 5, so that has cardinality 5. n sub 100, the natural numbers from 1 to 100, has a cardinality of 100. But when you take the Cartesian product, according to this result here, that is the um, equivalent to the set n sub 5 times 100, or 500, so that has a cardinality of 500, which is much bigger cardinality than either of the two factors, n5 or n100. So if you're only looking at finite sets, you sort of expect, when you take Cartesian products, that things really get bigger. And so, as I said before, this is basically saying that things really don't get bigger when you take Cartesian products of um, these two sets here. You get something that's actually the same size as what you started with. I think that's a pretty surprising result. So let's look at the proof. The proof is actually we've already um, done all of the main steps of the proof in earlier lectures because we've actually already, in earlier lectures, written down a bijection from n cross n into n. Namely, it's this function here. Okay, we proved that that function was surjective in this particular lecture, and we proved that it was injective in this particular lecture. So there you have it. There's a bijection from this set to this set, and therefore n cross n is, by definition, denumerable. So now this gives us the ability to write down um, lots of other denumerable sets pretty easily because remember that the relation that says you know one set is related to another set if it has the same cardinality if the two sets have the same cardinality that is an equivalence relation and so that means that any set that is denumerable and uh, if you take another set having the same cardinality as the denumerable set then it is itself a denumerable set so that means anything that has the same cardinality as n cross n um, is also denumerable. So that enables us to prove this corollary, that if you give yourself any two denumerable sets, not just n, but any two, the Cartesian product is necessarily denumerable. The proof of that is also something that we've already done, really. If a and b are assumed to be denumerable, then we know that there exist bijections, there's a bijection g from a into n and a bijection h from b into n. That's what it means to say that they are denumerable. And now that we've got these two bijections, we can create a new bijection from the Cartesian products. Namely, we map a b to g of a comma h of b. We proved in an earlier um, exercise that this f is a bijection. So that proves that a cross b and n cross n necessarily have the same cardinality. But since we've proved that n cross n is denumerable up here, it follows that a cross b is also denumerable. And that completes the proof. That then gives us the ability to write down lots of different examples of denumerable sets. For example, we can take the Cartesian product of three copies of n, because that's a Cartesian product of two sets, namely n is 
denumerable, and now we've just proved n cross n is denumerable, so we've got a product of two denumerable sets, and therefore it's denumerable. Or we could take four copies of n and take their Cartesian product. In other words, the set of all four tuples of natural numbers. That's the Cartesian product of this set with this set. That's now denumerable according to the corollary. More generally, you can prove by induction that if you give yourself any finite product of natural numbers, so for example, you could take 100 factors, take the set of all 100 tuples of natural numbers, that is still a denumerable set, nothing more than denumerable. It's no bigger than just simply n by itself.